my Amelia and Nathan. I have been asked by you to fully furnish and decorate your two bedroom home for yourselves and your expanding family. I understand the floor plan works really well, so I've put together a proposal for a cosmetic fit out for each room. I understand you are transitional in aesthetics, so I have chosen a eclectic mix of old and new with lots of layers, colours, patterns and textures. The style I have chosen is eclectic and Moroccan influences are visible in the soft furnishings. I feel the Moroccan patterns work well with an eclectic mix of styles. I have chosen contemporary look for the larger furniture pieces as you can see here for the sofa selected for the living space. Clean, simple lines keep the room from feeling uncomplicated. A mix of styles will be used in the smaller pieces and I feel this works really well with the contemporary designs in the larger pieces of furniture. Colour, texture and pattern will be used in the Moroccan designs, however these will be paired back to give a more calming feel, as you can see in the tones of the blues here. The colour scheme I have selected is a split complementary of blue, greens and red oranges, and I think these are really traditional in many Moroccan designs. The hues will be softer in tone, so the colours do not overpower, but rather give a relaxing and calming feeling. As you can see here in the entranceway, I have placed a bench seating up against the wall, and this is a perfect spot to sit and pop your shoes on. I've also kept the furniture minimal in this area, not to overcrowd the space. The living room here, I think the seating arrangements are wonderful and cosy, especially when entertaining guests. I've included an extra bench seat here for when you need the extra seating for guests. I decided not to go for a sofa because I feel the bench seat creates a more open and airy feel to the space. Going through to the dining area, I've left plenty of walkway and the dining area has been kept quite simple. and I think it works really well. The buffet to the side provides necessary storage and doubles as a place to put some extra lighting. The lamps and sconce lighting create a wonderful ambience when entertaining. Once up the stairs, the hallway is quite a large space, so I've utilized this to create a reading nook with two oversized armchairs either side of a table it is the perfect spot for some time out to read. The console also doubles as an extra handy storage. Walking through to the master bedroom, the bed head is facing the window to take in the lovely view and a comfy armchair is also a great spot for taking some time out by the window. The guest room is very comfortable with a king size bed and an armchair by the window, everything you need for a guest room. My bed head design for the master room is upholstered in a gorgeous dark green velvet material with horizontal panelling. Along the edging, as you can see, is a brushed gold metal edge. I feel the design is timeless and luxurious in appearance and gives the room an opulent feeling, everything you are after for a master suite. As you can see here in this in this picture of the entranceway, you can see the accents of the colours coming through. The walls are blue, which is the main colour in this in the hallway. In the dining space, I've kept the furniture quite neutral and just added some colours in the painting here and for the lamps. Upstairs hallway 
The main colour here is the greens and you can see the lovely Moroccan designs coming through the soft furnishings there. And going into the master room, the walls are painted a lovely deep blue and you can see the Moroccan influences in the soft furnishings, the rugs and the cushions and some of those accent colours like the reds and the greens coming through there. And last of all, the guest room I've kept quite dark in colour to create a really cosy atmosphere for your guests. You can see this in the deep blue bed head and all the lovely Moroccan textures and patterns coming through in the cushions. I hope you love your space and enjoy living in your new space.